Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Okanji Kashira here. But since we're all friends, you can call me Izu. If you're new here, I talk movies, series, gaming, music, basically everything entertainment. And on days like today, I like to throw a little positivity back into the world. And if that can even help one person have a better day or have a different approach to the week, then my job is basically done. All right, let's get into it. What was your favorite book growing up, like in primary school when you were that five to 10 age range? What did you find most fun? For me, it was The Three Little Pigs. If you didn't read The Three Little Pigs or if you never had the opportunity to read it even as an adult, basically the story is there's three little pigs and the mom one day wakes up and tells them, fellas, you're grown now, you need to go and live your own lives. She hands them some money and tells them, be on your way into the world now, conquer, explore your adults. All three leave the house and they have to decide now how they're going to fend for themselves. The first little pig builds a house of straw because it was cheaper and it was quick. The second little pig builds a house using sticks. It was fast, it was cheap. The third little pig takes his time and learns that he needs to build his house out of brick. After a while comes the big bad wolf. Yeah, this was a scary part of the story when we were kids. The big bad wolf goes to the first house, blows it, and the little pig runs into the second little pig's house, which was made of stick. The big bad wolf comes to the second house with the second little pig. He huffs and he puffs and he blows that house down too. And they both run to the third little pig's house, which is made of brick. The big bad wolf reaches this brick house and tells the little pig to come out, come out, come out, little pigs, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. They don't come out. He huffs and puffs and blows, but nothing happens. Huffs and puffs and blows, nothing happens. Because their house was made of brick. Love that story growing up. But now the were adults, and yeah, I have to confess, I've read it a few times even as an adult, but as a child, what we didn't realize was that this story was actually trying to teach us that we need to have a rock solid foundation in whatever we do. This story was actually talking about preparation. Do you want to do something that's quick and cheap? Do you want to do something that is moderately sustainable? Or do you want to take your time and build your house from brick? Now, let me tell you this. 2020 has been my big bad wolf. It, it has definitely huffed and puffed and blown me out of a few things. I don't know about you guys, but 2020, it's been my big bad wolf and it's tested me in ways I didn't even think possible. A lot of things I thought I had a handle of or a lot of things that I thought were together were not as together as I thought. And 2020, my big bad wolf, did a lot of huffing and a lot of puffing and blew some of those things. And I had to run into houses that were made of brick. Here's a lesson. If you build a solid foundation, no matter what comes your way, you will have something to hold on to. You will have something strong and firm that will stand the test of time. Be it a business. If you're building your business, make sure your foundation is solid. Invest in whatever areas you need to invest in to make sure that the basis, the thing that holds the business together is solid, okay? Whatever it is you're doing, if it's a project or a job, make sure that if it's a job, make sure you keep learning, you keep studying. Make sure the foundation, that thing that holds your position, that thing that makes you perform is solid. That's the thing that will keep you when the big bad wolf comes to blow. 2020, especially post COVID has exposed a lot of straw houses and a lot of stick houses. Even in my own area, I've discovered a lot of things that were built from stick and straw in my own life that couldn't survive post COVID. So 2020 could be the worst year or it could be a lesson. It could be an opportunity for us to learn and grow from it and do better and rebuild and take out all the grass, take out all the straw, take out all the sticks and rebuild with brick. All these areas that have shown vulnerability in 2020, you need to rebuild. You need to reinforce that foundation. That's what 2020 should teach you. Post COVID, if your foundation wasn't strong, you have been hit hard. 
Some areas of my life have been hit hard because my foundation wasn't strong in those specific areas. I had to shift things around because some areas of my life, some areas of my business built of straw. Some parts of my business, some parts of my life were built with stick. So now I have to figure out how to now tear all that, all that stick down, tear all that straw down and rebuild. Rebuild from the ground up with brick. That's the lesson. So you can see 2020 one of two ways. You can look at it and despair, or you can see every area that was a weakness, every area that didn't have a strong foundation. If you are in employment and what you're backing there is your education, how strong or how powerful you can perform. So if you didn't keep brushing up on your academics, you didn't keep improving, you were just stuck with that one degree you came out of uni with, post-COVID, all the fat was trimmed off. Companies were downsizing, businesses were closing, and if you were not what they referred to as essential, you were let go. If your foundation wasn't strong, you were non-essential. So there's a lesson to be learned from that so that when this happens again, and it will, maybe even bigger, because everything just repeats. It's a cycle. So what we're seeing now is not new. Epidemics have come before this. And those that were there when the Black Plague happened or Ebola happened for the first time, they were hit hard, but they learned and put infrastructure in their business, in their life, in their jobs. They put infrastructure that was solid so that the next wave that would come, they would be able to stand strong. Their business would be able to survive. Their jobs would be safe. Post COVID, we still have COVID, but now people are learning. People are more proactive. It's not as hard as when it just hit, but now is the time to rebuild. Now, what you rebuild with will determine how you survive if there's a next wave or if there's another pandemic 30 years from now, 10 years from now, how your business survives that, how you as an individual survive that, determined on the foundation that you set now, based on the information that you've acquired throughout 2020, that's what will determine how you survive the next one. So for me, 2020 has hammered me in ways I didn't even think were possible. It's hit me in areas that <laughs> it's hit me in areas that I have no muscle and there was no defense for some things. Some weak straw houses in my area, in my in me personally, some straw houses went down. Some stick houses went down for me personally in my life. They did. I had a few brick houses, but I had a lot of straw houses too. I had a lot of stick houses too, and those went down. 2020 huffed and puffed, blew them away. But for me, there's a lesson. Build a foundation of brick. So when it comes to business, when it comes to my personal life, I've learned I'm taking all of that stick away. I'm taking all of that straw away, reinforcing it with brick and steel. And I'll advise for you to do the same. If 2020 hasn't affected you, good. But still, you should learn from it. And whatever you build, build from brick. Let it have a rock-solid foundation. And that way, you'll be able to withstand whatever storm, whatever big bad wolf comes your way. All right? Okay. You have a great week. And that's it for me. And as always, dare, dare to be great. See what happens. Peace.